parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wrestling show where friendship is forever. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show episode 572, and you may not have heard this voice for a while. It is Sorgatron uh, in the Mayhem studio in Pittsburgh, PA. I am in the state. I am healthy again, and I'm ready to mayhem like we have never mayhemed before. Actually, it's probably precisely like we have mayhemed in the past, because we only know one way to mayhem. With me... The crew is back in the studio on the couch. Chad the Shad, who brought a laptop with him that may or may not actually be on. It's not on. It's on. It's on? It's not on. Like Spoiler alert. On. It's on. Yes. Already getting attacked by the Southpaw Regional shirt. Yes. <laughs> jumped me from behind many times. Already. Jumped you from See behind. The owl told him to do it. Yeah. <laughs> And another voice, he's been, he is actively, as we speak, watching 205 Live, already cracking up at the beginning of it. Mutilator Larry joining us once again in the studio. Good evening. <laughs> That's it? That's it? That's it. Sorry, I'm That's watching, where we're at. I'm watching replays. Watching replays. And also with us from <laughs> Who Keeps in New York, one of the contingent that kept the show going uh, the last couple of weeks. Thank you so much for stepping in and stepping up and delivering a Mad Mike Sork. Oh, my shoulders are so sore from carrying this entire company. Oh, God. Just the weight. The True. weight over the past two weeks, Sork. True, Kevin Owens. Oh, it's been tremendous. <laughs> oh, it's been the tremendous, new, Sork. God, the new face of, of mayhem. The new face of mayhem, Mad Mike. <laughs> 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 and look whose shirt I'm wearing, Sorg. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. KO Mania 2, baby. <laughs> KO Mania 2, baby. Um, but anyways, thank you so much, everybody, for the support in the show and, 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 and dealing with that. And, and of course, it's been a little wonky here the last couple weeks. And also, uh, Mad Mike completely almost going insane talking to himself um, in the third person. <laughs> Uh, I've on had the wrap to retire up. a pair of glasses I don't need. That's for a while. right. That's right. Hopefully we'll 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 have that for a while. Um there will be one more upset wrestling mayhem show here in the uh in uh, coming up in June, uh hopefully not for another three weeks or so. Uh so just a heads up on that. But in the meantime you guys, thank you so much. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. That's where you can find out all the shows going on, including interviews and so much more. Uh you can drop us a line to that email address. Good times! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Put it in your phone piece. Drunk Dallas, however you want to do that. And uh, please subscribe to the show however you like to on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and the video versions on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube uh, pages there. Uh, you'll get subscriptions and, and, and updates and, and, and everything going on uh, there, including a surprise video that I didn't realize we even had in our hopper that I'm hoping we can talk about a little bit later when we talk about the UK tournament, or I'm sorry, the UK championship uh, situations over the weekend. Uh, and of course, uh, please uh, uh, support the show, like the groups. Uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group is where a lot of great discussion happens. A lot of people sharing their stories from the week and, and just having a lot of fun around stuff. And at Mayhem Show on Twitter, we have, we especially like to have a lot of fun when wrestling is live out there on WWE Network and otherwise uh, along with all you guys uh, chatting about the shows. Uh, and um, thank you to our Patreon supporters um, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. I want to see if I can uh, do this from memory because I do not have it right in front of me right now. But thank you so much to Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! The Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Better Betterment. Uh, Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, uh, Christopher Bishop, Tina Keys, and I don't have the levels in front of me either. 
I'm trying to double double task this and and get it. Thank you everybody that's uh, supported the show, contributed to the show, and, and put their money into the show. Like that that is the biggest thing is to uh, see you guys uh, uh, do that and contribute to the show that pays some of the bills around here so we can keep going and helps kind of take a, a little of the, the financial burden, at least a little bit, um, off of what we're doing here a bit. Um, and let me double check if I messed anybody else. Big hair. Uh, thanks, Alex Cars. Thank you, Tragar, as well, I believe. That is the whole uh, uh, at the dollar uh, fan of the show and the Pocky Club $5 level uh, each month here for wrestling mayhem show so let's get into the news there was so much you know uh, larry you you pointed out a very uh interesting fact and and i know we're used to this when we have our wrestlemania and our SummerSlam and our royal rumble weekends but uh you, you threw a number at me earlier about how much wrestling is happening yeah yeah tomorrow is going to be the sixth straight day of wrestling programs and that is inclusive. That is inclusive, of course, the UK Championship Special, yeah. uh, NXT, which is going to be pre-taped. But in between, everything else has been live. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was it uh, the, the Takeover Special, uh, UK uh, Special, uh, Backlash, Raw, SmackDown. I guess two hundred five Live kind of gets wrapped into the SmackDown thing. Of course, it's part of the same um, taping, technically. Yeah, yeah. But that's a lot of wrestling in a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And who watched all of it? <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, well, mm-hmm. the, the scary part was that I, I didn't get a chance to sit down with any of it until about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. Oh, God. And then I watched about an hour of it and then fell asleep until 10.30 and then went back to try to watch it. <laughs> so Jeez. it didn't work for me this weekend. <laughs> so uh, and, 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 and I think that's the, like there is... Finally, too much wrestling. Oh, we've had too much wrestling for a long time, sort of. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, there's like too much, too much wrestling. I want to and feel like I must watch. I guess it was a marathon. Sort of. Sort of. Don't forget. Don't forget, Lucha Underground's coming back. Yes, on top of that, we're we're getting a UK weekly show. Yeah, yeah, and they just announced the May Young Invitational. The wait, the UK show is going to be weekly. Oh, of they're course. Gonna, Eventually. Yeah, I thought they, it was haven't, be they haven't said when it starts yet. They haven't said when it starts yet, oh but they are God. doing a week. Because right now, they're, I think they're they're still doing that, um, um, you know, uh, uh, moving us into it by having it as part of, of TakeOver, having these these uh, the monthly, irregular, I don't know. I don't know what the what the schedule is going to be, uh, specials that they've been having. Yeah. Um, so, so just to kind of warm us up to it, I'd say. Which makes sense, right? It, it, you know, what did we do? You know, uh, Mike. You know, Mike. What you know? I, remember I was harkening back to old days when we were talking about how WWE Network was going to roll out all the old content and produce new stuff as we go. Um, mm-hmm. Remember when we had our 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 WWE specials like for live from Madison Square Garden, mm-hmm. Beast in the East, uh, things like that. Yeah, the live from Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's have a random elimination chamber in Corpus Christi. That used to be a live show. Roadblock. You know, let's fuck Roadblock. over Haven's company. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, let's fuck over Haven's company. Um, you know, things like that. Like those were those were very strategic feeling out periods, right? Mm-hmm. NXT were live specials from Full Sail before they branched out. We just had a takeover in Chicago the weekend of Backlash. Yes. Let's 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 wrap our yeah. heads around this. We the the thing that we usually do Royal Rumble weekend and 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 SummerSlam and 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 WrestleMania like it's kind of been like oh yeah we'll have an NXT takeover right it's yeah. gonna be live it's gonna be an arena it's gonna be like fifteen thousand fans it's gonna be great yeah. And we just did that. You know, granted, it's Chicago, and it wouldn't have happened in Toledo if that's where Backlash was. Um, but, but still, like that's well, it, incredible. I mean, last year, uh, there was a takeover in London that was between Mania and um, Brooklyn. That's true. That so, is true. But, 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 to so, see, I mean, to, but to see it tacked on to a pay per view weekend like this, what makes you think? How much? I, I think we're going to see a bit more of this. Right. I yeah. I think I think it also depends. Like you said, it depends on the location of the pay per views. Because they're in Chicago, they might as well get as much. Like they know they can sell out an NXT show in Chicago. Absolutely. And like mm-hmm. and like they ran the Allstate Arena. Like that's where they have Raws. 
mm-hmm. in Chicago. Like they they sold that fucker out. And you're gonna have that crowd, right? You're gonna have that crowd that's gonna be into everything. It's like it's 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 the right market for it on top of a, a, a bigger venue. Yeah. So um, let's let's talk about that while we're while we're on that mo- on that moment. NXT takeover in the arms of no the no stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how about, or how about <laughs> leave the memories alone? <laughs> a great event. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. How about tell me a lie and say that you won't go? You know, do it yourself. <laughs> it's weird that they didn't ring the bell ten times on Sunday <laughs> for the death of a friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're By saving the way, that for tomorrow. Um, re- uh, 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 Posthumous mayhem bump to Johnny Gargano for main eventing a pay per view. <laughs> yes, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, they, that's like true. When they got to that point, and I and I kind of knew what was happening uh, from from tweets that I, I have in the glaze over the night before, um, and and, and see like, wait, we, we title matches now. Wait, we're doing this, you know. Uh, and there was no indication going into that Mm-mm. that that was going to be our main I event. Thought, I thought I missed it. Yeah, <laughs> no, really, I did. I thought I thought that I missed the tag team match um and that the uh nxt championship match was it and then but i mean i I looked at it i'm like oh man there's like 20 minutes left yeah like although i thought somebody was gonna do a run-in or something on the championship match they did foreshadow what was gonna happen did they yeah yeah all right two things and one came to my attention during the show one came to my attention after the show um the fozzy song did any of you guys hear, hear the Fozzie song for Takeover? I heard it a but couple times. Yeah, uh, do, do you know what it was called? Hmm. Judas. <laughs> Judas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your reference is lost. And me. and uh, uh, right before right before the main event, do you know who they showed in the crowd? Who did they show? Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Sami Zayn. Oh. Yeah, they did. They, they, did. they literally, so, they're like, "Hey guys, Judas heel. You don't know it Jesus. yet. This is what we're gonna do." <laughs> a little bit, right? A little bit. Um, a little bit. To be fair, uh, you know, as sad as this is, uh, you know that this is gonna be a freaking amazing <laughs> feud well, between Sorg, those two. Sorg, yeah. I've been refreshing Ticketmaster to see when I can buy Takeover Brooklyn <laughs> tickets. Oh, jeez, yes. Oh, geez, on yes. loop. Um, you know, and, 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 and my kind of not complaint, but kind of observation of Champa is Champa hasn't been Champa. Like, Ooh. like at all. Like, he's just like, like, they can't psycho killer for no reason. He has not been a psycho killer. Basically, basically. Right. Um, and now I think we were seeing, we saw the first glimpses of, of psycho killer emerging in, in WWE NXT. And when he was just sitting there looking at him from the table, mm-hmm. oh, oh, that that gave me chills. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was good, pretty, yeah. pretty amazing. That that match was great, mm-hmm. up and down. Uh, those guys are uh, uh, Ellering's tag team here. The authors of Pain of are coming into their own. They're really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, from before, remember I said they were kind of green, and yeah. Uh, that was hidden with the triple threat tag match and stuff. But as big guys, they've actually showed that they have a, they have it. Like they could go on and be that bruiser, that bruiser heavyweight tag team. Cause Absolutely. they carry themselves very well. They have a lot to learn still, but of course, so far they, they look great. They've I, done a great job with in high profile matches with big spots yeah. and stuff. They've, there they've were a lot of them well. in that match too. Yeah, there are a whole lot of big spots in that match. Yeah, and they they've done real well. I, th- I thought themselves. they killed Garga- Gargano with that uh-huh. ladder to the chin. Oh jeez, that looks so oh. vicious! <laughs> and, and you know, just <laughs> utmost professionals, right? Oh like, yeah, I'm going to I I am going to bring a deadly weapon <laughs> to your face, and you have to make sure it looks like, like like that Dolph Ziggler. Make sure it looks like it hits you like a damn yeah. gunshot. Oh my god! And even the commentary, <laughs> was I like, was looking oh. for teeth. 
Mm. He's dead. I was looking for I mean, God. <laughs> like even like when you can take a something like that and do the slow mo thing and not do that thing where it takes the hit and you do the speed up to kind of cover yeah. what you actually speed up happened. At the bump. Yeah, we, the speed up at the bump thing. I mean, that's why they do that, right? Because yeah. like, you cover up the fact that nothing really hit, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, if, <laughs> things I have to cover up all the time uh, in editing, and uh, it, it's it's that they just went slow the whole way and again looks like he just took his damn head off it, it was it was one of the amazing moments of the weekend and and really a but weekend even, go ahead go even ahead. the part before even the part before where gargano leapt in front of champa to take that yes yeah. oh jeez oh like, the story there that leads to the champa at the end jeez Jeez, yeah. and then and then I, I don't I I need to, I want to look back and see if you can kind of tell, but Champa like says something to Gargano before he starts taking them out, you know. Yeah. Um, and when that started happening, I think I yelled at my TV barbershop window. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I think he was saying I have to do it myself, <laughs> like Thanos at the end of. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, because Champa is Josh Brolin in. CGI Absolutely. makeup. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> oh man, yes. oh man, the Tomasa Tomasa Trumpa Infinity Gauntlet series is going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the geek crossover you get on this show. Um, but anyways, uh, but uh, you, I, I didn't see this. Supposedly, there's a CM Punk sighting in no, the crowd. No, it was uh, fake. Uh, come on. It was yeah. fake. Uh, that's, that, that, that's that's what I thought too. What'd they do? They so they they took a photo of him at a UFC event, and they took out the UFC uh, CM Punk thing or what did they call him Phil Brooks? Yeah, and they replaced it with NXT CM Punk. Jeez, below, down below, crafty motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Way to go, internet. Way to go. Um, f- you, although for a weekend that was in Chicago. And and I and I can't can't say that I in detail watched backlash. It was a lot of in background for me while I was working uh, the, the last couple of days. Um, not a lot of CM Punk chants. No, that's I think because nope. there was good wrestling. Yeah, I yeah. think like the, the and, and 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 to be fair, like like typically we're kind of comparing these WWE and and, and, and NXT shows, but even I thought backlash kind of held held its own uh, with with some pretty top notch things. And and, and 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 whatever you think of a Randy Orton match. Uh, the I think the Jinder Mahal syndrome on that made that more interesting. Yeah, I didn't have a problem yeah. with that match. The only problem I had match I had a problem with with was the women's match, and that's just because yeah. I just I'm just not behind it's that. Too much going on storyline. Too much going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, even like JBL was on on that that uh, whatever podcast he does with Corey Graves and that other guy. Uh, basically, it, it, you know, it was like like they're just thrown together, and I don't know why yeah. why I care. You know, which is. So, yeah, why is there a championship? Right, exactly. Nobody's well, fighting. For I it. thought I would have. I could have sworn that Charlotte was going to turn on Becky and Naomi, mm-hmm. and You'd actually think. create and actually create a four horsewoman. But not with that. Yeah, she seems inevitable. She's like lost momentum mm-hmm. completely. She's hiding in that, and, and, it's, yeah. and it's so strange, right? To, yeah. to come in and and just kind of blend into and to Becky and Naomi. It's the same thing with Sasha Banks. Uh huh. You guys are saying that I still yeah, okay. So we were just talking before the show. Oh. Tell, tell me your thoughts on Sasha Banks. I, I I think she she's just like just getting like pushed down. You know, like it's like the same thing with American Alpha. Like they just like they were just losing to who they lose to the Ascension and the, or fashion the, or fashion police, and then and then they disappear disappear and they just go to live shows. So I like, I, I disagree with the like. Any kind of devaluation of Sasha there, Mike? And we've been talking about this on the Raw wrap up uh, mm-hmm. as well a little bit. And that's actually, I think we've been really enjoying her and Alicia and seeing Alicia getting Alicia getting elevated really in the long run here. Um, it was kind of makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you can't really you can't push everyone all the time. And I think after a solid year, basically of Charlotte and Sasha, they need to cool off. Yeah. Well, they look at need to cool off. Both of them, both of them are, are taking a step back. If you look at it, you know, Sasha working with uh, uh, Fox, Charlotte's mm-hmm. kind of doing a similar thing, isn't well, she? Charlotte, in- Charlotte being a face automatically makes her thirty five percent less interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what? I 
I, I, I you know, I, know okay. I, guess I, did the math. I, I would I say, did the math. I would say, let's see your math, but I know you will show us your math. Well, so I did the math. you did the math. I did the, math. <laughs> the thing with that yeah. is like, it's like she, if she was a face and she was winning all the time, she would automatically be the best baby face in the company. Right. Just because she's an awesome performer. Right. You know what I mean though? But like, she's better at tearing you down she than is. being a good yeah. guy. But like they're they don't like it's like they're they don't want to build her as as a baby face, so she's just losing all the time. Mm-hmm. And it's just like it's just killing her. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. She's losing all the time, but she's in a tag team. Yeah. So she's, she's not, not guess, losing all the time. Yeah. yeah. And right, when she yeah. does have singles matches, they're interfered with. Oh, uh, I feel like we're getting That's a little true. too inside baseball bookery uh, kind of things with that part of it. All right, let's roll back to uh, the the. Well, you know what? First of all, I, I don't want to talk about uh, hind- uh, gender hindrances just yet. Uh, I want to talk about sword <laughs> sword. Can we talk about the Usos kicking a grandmother in the face? No, oh, geez, I wasn't. I didn't even want to get to that yet. I <laughs> oh. I wanted to give props to Riz. Can we do this All this right, part? Yeah, I mean, that. I've let's been okay. okay. I, oh, listen, listen, we've been at this for eleven years, and there are legit things that have. Um, I don't know what this show was five years ago. Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, and and uh, and 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 today I discovered something that we did. <laughs> that, that that's a weird way to put that. Um I, I, I saw a comment on a video and I'm like, oh this was interesting. And then and then I looked and I was like actually people have been commenting for the last several months. And some reason I haven't seen this. I didn't realize that a few years ago on their second ever visit to the States, the Riz had an interview with Mark Andrews and Pete Dunn. This is very significant. <laughs> this is very significant because, you know, in a who the hell are these British guys uh, <laughs> kind of interview that we did at the time. Eh, nobody's going to really care about their British. Who knows? Whatever. Uh, turns out uh, both of those gentlemen were involved in UK championship matches in two separate shows this past weekend. Uh, Mark Hashtag Andrews. Matt, yes. Man. Uh, uh, an unknown mayhem bump. Mark Andrews, of course, in the uh, in the title match on the UK Championship special that was on Friday and rebroadcast after Raw this week, if you caught it there. And, of course, Pete Dunn winning the UK Championship at NXT TakeOver Chicago um, live there. Um, so if you want to know what vegetable those two gentlemen would, would be, uh, you can watch that interview. <laughs> I've also re-uploaded it to the Facebook page, so it was very fresh over there. Um, both of those guys were on an IWC retro reunion show. I think the first one that they did, um, and ended up uh, uh, teaming up to take on, I believe, Jason Lennox, uh, because Aiden Vale, friend of the show, was injured, and Paul London as a surprise. Uh, so a pretty fun night there. Uh, so, so we all f- always forget because we keep thinking about the unfortunate interview that he did with RJ City and Dalton Castle at the same time, which, which you know, would make any other man cry. Uh, but, uh, but, 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 you know, when we forget that that was a thing that happened, and and, and I just want to give some props to Riz, and uh, it's a really fun interview that you guys can check out. So, so Riz is our Nigel McGinnis. What? Um, wait, 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 wait! He, Break that he down. is our UK correspondent. He is yes, our he is. UK correspondent. Okay, all right. <laughs> when they start up, we're like, if anybody UK comes on, Riz got to do the interview. That is that's now the responsibility, right? Yeah. Of, of Riz, is anytime He's somebody the most British experienced out of everyone. I, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's everybody else's accent, but he was the most calm interviewer. Like I, I told him, it's like, dude, this is your best interview. It is his Sorg, best interview. Sorg, the English are very polite. They are very polite. They put the Riz at ease, and he can just do his thing, and he can just Riz. Yeah. It did need subtitles on that video, though, because I had no <laughs> idea what he said. <laughs> they're not, not Riz. I understood Riz fine, but I had no idea what the other. You know said. how to speak Riz. You can't speak UK. <laughs> I, 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 Pete Dunn is like it's like. Yeah, I, I can't understand him. Single word he says. I don't like anything he says, but I can't understand a word he's. I have no idea what he's saying. I just know I don't like it. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. And we do have. Oh man, we got we have a submitted big question. We'll get to that in a moment. All right. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, uh, 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 other other positive friend of the show news. I, I think we do need to discuss here. Uh, Elias Samson got his first match on Raw. We talked about this, of course, on the wrap up last night uh, because context. Um, he had a match with the Intercontinental Champion uh, Dean Ambrose and, and won. won yes. technically. Uh, so so I just want just shout outs, uh, uh, props. Just and just and it, it survived a commercial break as well. It was it, long it, enough it, to have a commercial wow, break. Wow! Wow! So not only did he just come out and have a match and they do this, no, it it went the distance. It had it, it was it, a and, match. And and you know it's one of those where. He wasn't entirely a breakout success in NXT, right? Like he wasn't, you know, you know, lighting it on fire, you know. Yeah. He, he, he did great, you know. I thought he was entertaining. He but... was about on the level of like an Apollo Cruz. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess so. Yeah, I, I think that'd be good. You know, he wasn't somebody that's like this guy's shooting the top and you want to be in four ways with 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 AJ Styles right off the bat or anything like that, right? It, but you know, for being a guy that that came from the Indies, came up through, um, I you know they. I, I think giving him what he's had this last month with these playthroughs um, backstage on Raw was like yeah. the perfect way to introduce him, right? Uh, and, and, and we got this match, and he was part of something like that, and now he's hopefully full on in it, and they do some yeah. cool stuff with I, him. I missed that se- uh, segment on Raw. What did he do to get the match? Because I saw it. <clears throat> something about him being uh Kurt Angle pissed him off or he pissed off Kurt no, Angle. He just happened on, no, he just happened on he just happened upon Kurt scripted. Angle and Kurt Angle's like, hey, you should probably wrestle. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. That, that's I basically like, it. I've been trying to get my attention for a couple weeks with this. Okay. Uh, All right. I'm gonna put you in a match. Yes, no mention of them both being Pittsburgh boys or anything and like that. He just that. turned oh, really? around no. and strummed his guitar. He didn't even acknowledge like he was and- like <laughs> and they, they left like and he did he did do yeah. as he did in nxt they started with him sitting in the ring with his guitar and he sang a song yep. did he he yep. sang a song yes yeah and An honestly original. and honestly i think did better than he usually did on nxt yeah a little little, little less off key this time you know because <laughs> uh i mean hey you know hey it's, it's hard you know for fifteen thousand yeah. people come on it's hard out there. Come on, I don't think I don't think Logan Shulo's um, garage band here in Pittsburgh ever was in front of fifteen thousand people. <laughs> so so good on him doing the solo act out there. So just throwing some props out there. All right, we need to talk about the fashion police. Sorg, a grandma wrestled in USO. Yes. Shane McMahon is not running a tight ship. Well, well. Why can't a grandma wrestle an Uso? I'm, Isn't this the land of opportunity? We, yeah. We've wanted intergender matches for months now. Oh, boy. And yet we get one unannounced. Shane I thought McMahon, you wanted more spontaneity. spontaneity? I do, but it, he's not running a, a tight. Bit. That yeah. match was four on two. <laughs> That match was not fair. You want fair? Go to Raw. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 no. Please don't send me a Raw. Please, please don't send me to one good show out of five weeks Raw. Good point. Good point. He brought him up to the ring as well for an object. Yes, could have been made in America. Yep. I don't know. Um, I that was actually um that was actually a second generation wrestler. Mom that beat. was the. That was the son of Moppy. Son of Moppy. Oh, son my of God. Moppy. <laughs> and, oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He started in in, uh, in Mexico. That was El Hijo del Moppy. It was the... By the way, Stork, show title. The evolved... Somebody write that down. The of, evolved El, El Hijo del Moppy. Son, de son of the former luchador of Moppy. <laughs> El Mapo. El Mapo. El Mapo. El, no, no, seriously, Fashion Police are the most entertaining damn thing on SmackDown right now. Uh, uh, tonight, when they wanted to turn in their badge and guns. <laughs> yes. Shane freaked out when, he, when they said they had guns. I, <laughs> I really want to watch Talking Smack really bad tonight. <laughs> so, so. It was really oh good. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you! To give me a spelling on El Hio, uh, on Hio Del Mappi there, Mike. I knew you'd need it. Sorry, I have to copy and paste that into my notes. Um, I don't know what that's going to do to our Google tonight. Missy's uh, going to have so many questions uh, in the morning. 
<laughs> the, 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 yeah, the 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 night that, that that she's like, yeah, I can't do uh, uh, show notes. Is like, all right, good luck. <laughs> good right. What weekend? She's gonna say, she's gonna do social media for this in the morning and be like, what in the world did you guys do? Um, anyways, so so fetch please, amazing. Um, uh, I think yes. they had a lot of fun on SmackDown tonight as, as well. So. They should. I, they should I, I was disappointed. They should they have won win. the belts. Though. They should have. Should have. Yeah, and then that would have yeah. led into Money in the Bank. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, but maybe yeah. maybe they'll do it over the next couple of weeks, or maybe I I I'm kind of don't want them to go all the way to Money in the Bank. Just really? continuing like this. Like I'm hoping it happens before. Maybe. This, this, uh, well, they they had another tag title shot tonight. I think if it's not hap- if it wasn't happening then, mm-hmm. it might not happen. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, Road Dogs dartboard's getting a little hinky. Well, because I mean, the Fashion Police getting a short title reign for the Bollywood boys that they get off of them that seems perfect to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow, that'd be good. You get, because the Singh brothers still haven't wrestled yet. No. No. Yeah. No, oh, and, uh, and, and Billy's right. New Day comes back soon. Oh yeah. I I, I, I hope it's not New that, Day. That, that's the problem because then the, the New Day is going to take the air out of the room for for anybody else. Well, it's feels. just one Bolly boy, Bollywood boy, because Randy Orton destroyed the other. True, he did kill one. He did he kill did. one during uh, the he, match. Hey, the, the other one was girl. dancing tonight. That's good. Are dancing. you sure that was a Bollywood boy? I'm relatively sure. It could have been like another br- another sibling or something. They could have just yeah. replaced them. So, um, well, it's, <laughs> you're talking Sorry, about this isn't this isn't Gotham where you can just willy nilly clone people. The, <laughs> I was YouTube. talking about the yeah the gif of the pay per view. The mo- the best <laughs> retweet I've ever seen is just Randy Orton throwing him up, <laughs> him doing a half gainer. Smacking his face, or smacking <laughs> his head on the thing, and Randy Orton going. <laughs> that, that Randy Orton grimace is going to be the most meme-worthy gift since an RKO. And you yeah. know, some everybody in Gorilla were laughing yeah. their asses off at it. Yeah, yeah. You well, can as take soon that as they face, found out he was okay, yeah. I think as soon as they found out he was okay, they were laughing. Yeah. As, as like you can take that face now. If anything ever bad happens in in the world to you or anything, you can just. Put that on, and then right after, <laughs> that's going to be in videos for life now. Yep. Oh yeah, that, oh, yeah. that was the look. That was the look when you just busted in your parents having sex. Ooh. Maybe it's, no, no, I'm not going there. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, well, it, that was you know, and again, like I said, that you know, what, whatever you want to say about the match, and actually, it was a good match, I thought, uh, generally, but but definitely not as good as the prospect of Ginger winning the belt and yeah. then does. Yeah. Uh, uh, what some of the best re- reaction shots I think in a little while from the crowd. Uh, so 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 Ginger's our champion. Uh, the fiftieth, the fiftieth WWE World Champion. Ginger Bradshaw Mahal. What? Is that his middle name? <laughs> it should be. From it's Calgary, like Brad- Alberta, it's India. Like, it's, like, it's like John Bradshaw <laughs> Layfield. Ginger Bradshaw Mahal. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you for calling that out tonight. Uh, the, 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 apparently it was brought up on the Jericho podcast, you said. Yeah, he's from Calgary. He's, 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 yeah, he's not even from India, right? No, I mean, obviously, oh, yeah, no. I mean, obviously he's Indian, but he's not like, no. he did not come to us from India. Let's make that clear. Yeah. Um, so He's Canadian. He lives in Texas down the road from the Great Khali. <laughs> <laughs> and these are facts that he admitted on the podcast. Yes. <laughs> like, Sorry. I'm not making this up. <laughs> Which also, knowing that, makes it sadder that the great Kali did not show up to the Punjabi celebration tonight. I know. Mm. And I think I still don't say Punjabi right. He was there in I think I think that's why Riz isn't on tonight. He's boycotting because Kali didn't show up on SmackDown. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, this is, this is the one time. Oh, jeez. Uh, yes, that, that, that. Well, I, no, no, because Kali could come in as his enforcer. Yeah, not but, that he needs an these, enforcer. These Bolly, but, these Bollywood boys aren't waking up for me. I need something bigger. So, are you saying Great Khali is just like a statue? Orlando Jordan. Yeah, um, yeah, yes, or, but not the like later weird TNA Orlando Jordan. Um, no one should ever be the weird later TNA anything. <laughs> but but Khali is <laughs> basically their name like, is Hardy. Unless That's they right. unless they use Khali yes, okay, as okay. like a. Uh, uh, good omen idol because you can't 
fucking move. That's <laughs> true. And they'll just like <laughs> wheel them down on a cart and stand them, and then they're like, "Oh, bless me, Carly, before my match." Wait, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Are you? Oh god, we're gonna piss somebody off. Um, so are you imagining Kali as like a Buddha? No, no, the god Kali. There's oh, a, there's a, oh like yeah, yeah, a, yeah, multi-armed, yeah. uh, something, something. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember that. Yeah, but okay. Kali can't move. You'd be like a statue. We, you know, we, literally we at least have move. one listener that's yelling at the, us right now. Another he literally boss. can't move. He's not active. He's, he's yeah. too, yeah. I'm picturing he's too big. He can't wrestle. What if he's he like run. a big Indian, like Dawn. Like, like he's the Dario. He's like an Indian Dario Cueto. Or Wait, haunts. Uh, he's like he an sit. Indian Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yes. He's an Indian, and the Sting an brothers Indian are J and J security. Graziano. He's an Indian Big Sally Graziano oh, from the so, FBI. We are so booking like Punjab Underground right now. <laughs> Punjabi Underground. Yes. The Great Kali would just be over. I think that's technically from Ring Kicking. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Wait, 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 wait. There's two two thoughts here. Rinka King, yes, because everybody's talking Rinka King after this week. Uh, Bollywood boys, by the way, were cha- tag champions in Rinka King. Uh, what was that again? Kali would just be Omek from Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh. That's, that's <laughs> it, yeah. That's it. <laughs> he would be Omek. So wait, is the WWE title the shrine of the silver <laughs> monkey? Yeah, you get to fight Jinder Mahal. It's like vertical at the limit end of the trying temple. to climb up the dude's chin. <laughs> oh my god, the Bollywood boys are the temple guards. Yeah, yeah that all works. There you go. That all works. Well, I feel like RJ said he should be on this episode because we're talking so much Nickelodeon. <laughs> He's here in spirit, though, because we still have his autograph for, for Bobby that we haven't uh, relayed to him. You'll bring that in for the picture just so yeah. we, we have visual proof there. Uh, so, uh, RJ, RJ City, you are with us. <laughs> Show the cameras. <laughs> uh, sorry. With us with spirit. Actually, just just put him in the middle of the couch. Just just there. There you go. Yeah, okay. There you go. RJ, RJ, you're on the show in spirit. Is chest flexor? What? No, I hope not. <laughs> no, chest flexor. No, the I other one says. Pizza. I know. I the know. the John Wayne says chest flexor. I, was... I thought chest flexor only autographed pizza. No, that's not true. Still got it. He'll autograph anything with a face <laughs> on it. Is this a good? Is this a good time to bring up? So I, I you saw I, I I have some art coming in, right? But there's another piece of art that I did not share, and it's a sexy, <laughs> talented dudes as the Goonies that oh, I wow. I saw an image of this on Facebook while I was in the middle of a, a job on Michigan. Oh, I sent God. a I sent a screen cap to Chachi while he was at IWC last weekend, and I said, "Bring me one." So hey, uh wait, who's who's um sloth. who's sloth in that? Who's sloth? I don't know which one uh do, 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 where's sloth which which one represents Let sloth in this setup? Uh, um This is great I, for you guys I on audio. See, I don't know. Oh, I can't yeah. there's so many possibilities. They all look yeah. like I can't sloth. I gotta see the original image because <laughs> I don't know I don't know where the Photoshop begins and and reality ends in this thing. I, I, in my mind, they actually all pose for this photo. I don't even think there's a person there where Corey Futuristic is. I think they just took, stuck his head in there. But anyways, here's that. Here's that. Um, that that was something. Uh, there was oh, there's one more. So so, anyways, Jinder Mahal is our champion. Yes, yes, he is. I have to keep saying yeah. that. Yeah. I, I mean, I have to keep saying that. You're sorry, gonna you're sorry, gonna wake yeah, up tomorrow. And... What's that, Mike? We had the same reaction when Bradshaw won the title. Did we? Really? Because yeah, my reaction exactly. is, who is this guy? Because when I we first... Had... Oh, good. No, we had the same exact reaction because Bradshaw was just coming from the APA. The only time he had ever had a singles run when he was Justin Hawk Bradshaw. Hmm. And, he was bra- and he was branding people with Uncle Zevakaya. Like, but I, I, I want to know... Um. We all lost the bet on who would be the first world champion from 3MB, didn't we? Oh, no, we did. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, just wrap your head around that. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not factoring in TNA. He, no he, one does. he won the championship, but the the prodigal son of Vince McMahon or whatever, Vince McMahon's handpicked the future. The chosen one. The chosen one, Drew McIntyre, did yeah. not. Can we get can we get like 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 kind of a reunion picture at some point here with with him with the championship? That picture with Tom Phillips has been going around 
with three MB Hornswoggle and Tom Phillips. Um, yeah. um, can we just have them recreate that a little? You bit? know what needs to happen, Sword? Hmm. Heath, Heath Slayer needs to beat Brock Lesnar, and Drew Ma- Drew McIntyre needs to beat Bobby Roode. That's the next step. That is the next yeah, step. Okay. And then three MB needs to have a reunion tour. Oh, jeez, yes, we're all ch- all champs, baby. All they're, champs. They're all separate shows and everything too, right now. Um, mm-hmm. Brandon, don't forget Ginger. Excuse me, Ginger Mahal uh, wrestled Rollins for the NXT Championship in the finals of that first tournament. That's true. And all those years later, it comes around. Man, what a tale, right? This is a guy that was um, um, relegated to 3MB for the longest time, mm-hmm. let go from the company, didn't have the Drew Galloway tour that Drew McIntyre had that, that got, you know, the I got attention, got good, and came back uh, uh, tour. Um, got, did a stupid namaste character for the longest time because, you know, back when, like, really? We brought back Jinder Mahal? That's a weird decision to make six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm... Yeah, WrestleMania. If I told you that guy that got punked out by uh, Ron Gronkowski is going to be your WWE champion in two months, right? Yeah, I mean, just like yeah. that perspective. I'm not even going that far back. That was How the pissed big... off is Mojo Raleigh. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Mojo won that match. You guys, he's not even on TV anymore. <laughs> yeah, where'd last... he go? I don't the know, last man. time he was on TV, a child was kicking him in the shins. Did he punch the? And that's the kid not even a joke. Wait. No, that's not even a joke. He was he was running a, a it was a segment on SmackDown when they were in the UK. He was running a tour of backstage and showing a bunch of little kids the Andre the Giant Battle Royal Trophy, and the little kid kicked him in the shins. <laughs> and we never saw him again. <laughs> they left him there. Wow! I bet Bradshaw took his passport. Probably. <laughs> oh. But that's, that's or has Slater and Drew come to SmackDown and win the tag titles and hold three quarters of the belts of the blue brand. Blue brand. That's, I'd, I'd be okay with that as well. And then you have Hornswoggle beat Kevin Owens for the United States title. I would pay to see that because, in a, because why in not? a WLC match. Um, Hornswoggle, by the way, part of the JT Lightning um, Invitational tournament again at AIW. I think probably rekindling his feud with Britt Baker. Uh, so just putting that out there as a thought that's happening. Sorg, Sorg, I don't want to talk about Hans <laughs> No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> He's on impact. He's yes. on impact. He needs to go away. Oh, is he? Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. Is he playing the owl? I oh, I fucking wish. <laughs> what a great idea! God damn it! That's what? such a good idea. <laughs> that is a good one. That is a good one. All right, guys. On that note, and first, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. Uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, we got it here. It gets cool by the time we get to the, 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 this hour, but still very good. Cold still pizza. feeding it's our people. Pizza, it is, yeah. absolutely. Uh, gets our people in there. We're bribing some people on the awesome cast to come in for it. Uh, with it, actually. So thank you so much to them supporting the show. Slice on Broadway, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and and uh, shout out to uh, indie wrestling dot us kind of a sister site here where we're posting a lot of things including Tragar's reviews and and uh, previews of a lot of things uh, coming up in indie wrestling and of course releases from our friends uh, International Wrestling Cartel Renegade Wrestling Alliance and Premier Championship Wrestling including upcoming the release of Walter Waite Wrestling had a very successful first uh, debut pay-per-view on Fight TV. So thank you so much for those guys supporting the show and you guys as well. And we'll be right back after this message with the big question. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net. Wrestling Mayhem Show, we are back here in studio, Sorgatron Mayhem Studios, Chad the Shad, Mutilator Larry, and of course a visual representation of RJ City just because on the couch. Yeah, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. And, right? and Mad Mike. And Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. Who said that? You know, <sighs> carry the show for two whole weeks, Sorg forgets I'm here. You need a rest, you need a rest. Don't worry about it. It is now time. Can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop. It is now the time in the show for... (laughs) I was trying to blow by that, but it just didn't work. Um, (laughs) For the big question. 
dramatic pause. This week, there was a dramatic thing that happened. A dramatic title change happened. The cruiser went. Sorry. No, no, no. The, the, the 50th. <laughs> The fiftieth world champion in Jinder Mahal, and I, 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 I know they're just doing because it it's the fiftieth, but I kind of would love if they, they, they started numbering the championships like they do in New Japan. Oh. They, they have like the forty third world champ, the fourth, blah blah blah. You know, although they have a longer lineage, you know, these are technically newer belts, so especially with the tag belts and everything. Do their right. titles change that as often as WWE though? Ah uh, no, because that Let's, can get really... I don't want to get into it, but but like we'll, we'll do this okay. some other point. But but there's a wildly different format to how they do their shows. Let's put it that way. Like it's and, not a, and they're also just counting the fiftieth different person. The fifth because it's not the fiftieth title reign. It's the fiftieth different person to hold said title. Really, I thought, I thought it was per reign. Okay, I thought it was per reign. That's but more. I, man- I could be wrong. That's more manageable. Okay. All right. But anyways, well, it, no, because I remember Miz said Miz was something said something different about like being the fortieth or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, anyways, the point is the big question is what was a title win that was surprising that was not Jinder Mahal? That's the catch. Because holy crap! But no, what, what was somebody like when they first won the belt or or a title change that happened that was just like. Oh crap! They're doing this kind of thing. China winning the Intercontinental Title. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. That's, that actually is a good one. That actually is a good one. Um, like especially what it led into. Yeah. With, with mean, especially with Jericho and everything, right? So who would have saw that coming? Nope. I nope. mean, yeah, uh, that's the biggest one I can think of. There's some great intergender wrestling back in the day, though, for what it was. She um, was kicking ass, I'm- dude. I'm going to say Zack Ryder winning the title at the ladder match in WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. That one nobody saw coming, especially since Ryder wasn't even supposed to be in the match. It was supposed to be Neville. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember all like me and all my buddies were watching Mania that year. We were just floored that, like, wait, did Zack Ryder actually just win? Like, and then we were all like, oh, well, he's losing it tomorrow night. But still, that was awesome. <laughs> he still had his moment, right? He still had that WrestleMania yeah. moment. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to go with um, CM Punk at Money in the Bank. Oh, that's a good one. When he walked out with the belt and and legitimately did not have a contract. Yeah. Like, that was fantastic. The picture <laughs> of... The What's that? He blew the yeah. kiss to Vince. It was the title in the fridge. Like that whole sequence was just yep. that was that was like wrestling magic, right? I think creatively that was the most, or emotionally that was the most invested I had been for a long time. Mm-hmm. And to have that happen like that, I was like, holy shit! They're gonna let him win. Mm-hmm. He's running out through the crowd. He has tweeted a picture of the title in his fridge. He may not come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was wonderful to actually be able to 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 go like, well, I know he doesn't have a contract. They've said he doesn't have a contract. Like, you don't know what was going to happen. And, and, and that they they went through the trouble of taking an entire raw to crown a new champion. <laughs> yeah, for him to show up yeah. was just perfect. Yeah. Wasn't that like the only time we've ever gotten Rey Mysterio versus John Cena? Yes. Yeah. Um, like like in a one on one match because they were always perennial baby faces. That's crazy. So they they were always on the same show too. Mm-hmm. But they were they were in there. Why, why would they fight? Yeah, they're always good guys. In they, an era they when that didn't happen. Together, yeah, but, yeah, that was it. Um, Santina oh. Morella winning Intercontinental Championship <laughs> the first time. Yeah, guy from the crowd. Guy from crowd. Guy from oh. crowd. That was that was surprising. Did you take your pick? No, that the mine was CM Punk. Oh, yours was Punk. Okay, yeah, guy, guy from Crowd. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and, and to, to to not know what would come of Santino Morella all those years later. He played a really good fan too. Mm-hmm. I didn't know idea who the hell he was. Just what the hell? They're just giving his fan a t- what the hell. This gave his family yeah, Bobby Lashley. Was it? It was a Bobby Lashley um, a Umaga feud Umaga, thing, wasn't it? Umaga, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was and fantastic. Vince, Vince was ringside. Yeah, he was involved in that match. I want to say the was Hardys it? this year, but that I don't know. 
that was unexpected that they were in the match. I guess it kind of made sense that they would win. Showing up and winning was was yeah. was pretty fantastic. So what I, wasn't that Santino thing when Vince had the weird bowler hat on because he was bald? Yes. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yep, it was the okay. Maga Bobby Lashley feud. Yeah, wow. It was right after that because they still kept that feud going. And the, the feud that included now President Trump. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And current TNA champion Bobby Lashley. Wow. Nothing good champion. came out of that match. <laughs> <laughs> the only good thing that came out of it was Umaga, and then he died. Oh, <laughs> oh Umaga was great. Because he. he... <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I, I see what you did there, Chad. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, I <laughs> don't know what. The... <laughs> Hot rod at you. The Shield having control over the tag team titles in the WWE Championship is my answer uh, for for Brandon. What was it? Um, uh, hey. The Shield having control over the tag team titles in the w- the WWE Championship, or is that or, or was it the US Championship? US, yeah, the US. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Had to, it had to be the US. Yeah, 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 because they they were they had all the gold for a bit there. So man, those those Shield days were great. Yeah. So um, a little throwback to that on Monday when when Wyatt. Said hello, old friend. Yes, to Roman. That was nice. It's nice to see you, old friend. I, I, I love. I love where we like. You know, it, it, it's it's. I, we kind of groan when we see like Cena Orton like have another match, rekindle the feud, da da da. But every time yeah. you see like Shield member and Wyatt, it's yeah. like, yeah, there was some shit there. You know, uh, you know, and that, 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 that that's always kind of interesting. Yeah. Hell, I even liked a little bit, um, the. Harper Rowan for the nth time, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's there's always that you know one leaves and comes back and 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 they're pissed. You left the family, da 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 da. You know. Um. And Rowan's character is kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, they're doing something with them. Uh. Again, I guess. Uh, so so we'll see. I, I didn't watch Talking Smack the last couple of weeks to see I, where they've. Gone I hope this. he just becomes a really weird Etsy shop owner. Oh yes. <laughs> I, I was partially thinking of him because I watched the uh, Modern Family this week where the one guy came back to find his Rubik's Cube to show his new um, stepkids that he solved one side of it. <laughs> <laughs> and was so proud. Sorry. I want to see a thing on WWE Network where Kathy Kelly is talking about what's on Eric Rowan's Pinterest page. <laughs> 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 the list the w list it could be an episode of the w list right and she just gets like more and more disturbed and like breaking her professionalism as it's happening as she's really reading through all this stuff this 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 was good tonight uh, uh brandon's saying i don't know what ex- exactly he's talking about here but did you see did you guys see the awesome respect between styles and nakamura but presumably tonight yeah on, on smackdown um i'm geeking out because their last match in new japan was against each other yeah. And yeah, them, they they even talked about it a little bit. They 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 mentioned being in Japan a little bit, I I, I guess. But man, I this hat has to be WrestleMania match next year, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they may even do it on SummerSlam, and that's okay. I, but I, it's got to be WrestleMania. I can't see them turning oh, AJ Styles' heel for SummerSlam. No, absolutely, absolutely. And somewhere in there. Finn, what if they, what Finn, if, Finn Balor, who Kurt Angle also has a problem with. It must be a Pittsburgh thing that we can't say his name. Um, Finn uh, Balor. He's just... In his overalls Finn and... Balor. Balor. In his overalls and hay bales. Finn <laughs> Balor. Got yes. Finn Balor here. Yes. Uh, yep. uh, wheels. Wheels from his new uh, Wheels Central Monongahela PA. Uh, so he... Now, wait, wait. You can say Monongahela. But you can't say <laughs> Finn Balor. Is it a Monongahela? I don't think that's how you say, I said it, is it? it, it well, Monong- you can't say Hela. Right Monongahela. Yeah. Monongahela. You got it. It's, right. He can't, that's the, the no, but so, right because I live in because yes. I live in Pittsburgh and I don't say Mount Washington. Yeah. Right. Because there's no. Sword, you can't say Carnegie Washington. right either. So you're, hey, you're all sorts. Of- yes, Carnegie, PA. Carnegie, PA. Yes, no, the Carnegie, Carnegie Music no, Car- Hall. In Homestead, no Carnegie Hall in New York City. Carnegie, PA. <laughs> Andrew Carnegie, the person. Andrew Carnegie. Nope. 
Is nope. it a different person that no, was it, up there? It's, like, like it's the same. Like, nope. It's it's not. It's just people in New York. Are Anyways, <laughs> Wheel says <laughs> AJ Styles winning the WWE title in his first year with the company. I disagree. You he disagree? That. that wasn't surprising. He earned that. He was clearly the hottest thing on that show. Like, yeah. I mean, it was great. It okay. was it was a great moment, but. That's like saying that's like saying it was shocking to see Eddie Guerrero win the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. You it know is I mean? a little bit, isn't it? It was. He I don't think it was well, shocking. He didn't win like, shocking to see Chris Benoit win the title. They had the people. They had they had the crowd behind them the entire time. So it, yes. well, I don't think that's I don't think that's shocking. But it, I, I think it was more shocking that AJ lost to Chris Jericho at WrestleMania. That, uh, uh, yeah, that was shocking. I mean, yeah, that was pretty shocking. <laughs> I can't say anything about that. Speaking of shocking, so um, Booker T. Mm. Booker T was on the kickoff show. The one time I didn't watch the kickoff show. Uh, I believe Brandon shared this. Uh, so uh, apparently he's t- he's chatting with uh, James Ellsworth. And talking about Why are you his, referencing me? His relationship. <laughs> with I'm explaining what happened to you because you asked about it earlier. So oh, okay. you, you, are, you are the subject of my... You represent the audience that maybe didn't watch the kickoff show. What are you doing over there? This is my James Ellsworth. Your James Ellsworth? No, no, you're showing too much chin. That's better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, suck your chin in. Suck your chin in, <laughs> you slacker. But uh, he's talking about his relationship with uh, one uh, Carmella. And uh, at some point makes like one of these motions with oh, his no. yes the the finger in the in the in the circle. Who did uh, that? We'll, we'll call that Booker T. Oh no, Booker T does that. <laughs> uh, so was Lawler there? No, oh, no, no, want, no, no. Was he would have been so pissed that he stole the his thing? Damage. I just watched myself make that motion on the video feed <laughs> today and on Facebook. So, um, oh, someone gift that, please. I wait, Booker T or me doing it. Both you. side by side, uh, mirror images, <laughs> like a colli- like a weird kaleidoscope. You won't know which one's which. <laughs> so, well, no, no. So Booker T is not wearing glasses. There's no story out here other than Booker T can make sexual gestures with his hands on on live television. And and keep in mind, this is the kickoff show, not something that was exclusively on WWE Network, but is on every social media platform that they have a video are, presence on. are we really surprised no john cena has a finisher called the five knuckle shuffle which is a term for masturbation sork i did not know that i yes so, well, tr- true <laughs> true they did, but they did true. change the name of the fu to the aa so yeah. well i mean um, i think if you dig deep enough there's connotations and stuff for everything aj yeah, styles yeah. was talking about how much uh who was it was blue I, oh baron corbin you referenced him blowing on the opener tonight <laughs> tis a new era tis a new era where we're, we can make i think we might be getting back to pg-13 we're getting to something and i'm okay with that we're getting to something all right so um i just i feel like i feel, i feel like booker forgot he was on tv a little bit <laughs> and, and it just 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 one of those things i mean it's not like it's the first time he slipped on television live in some <laughs> no, rude or offensive worded way his commentary like makes Booker me T. miss david otonga <laughs> there's that too yeah, um, seriously is he done with that movie yet is i will go is he filming hey, a movie did you <laughs> Is that what he was doing? I didn't know that. <laughs> they should really, they should really mention that on Raw at least once or twice. I, didn't know that. Oh, I mention, must have missed. Did it. they mention it this week? They had to, him, right? You can get it for nine ninety nine. I mean, oh. I mean, oh shoot, I'm mixing up the cue cards. I'm still What's sad. Right? I'm still sad that we don't get <laughs> WWE films movies on WWE Network. You think, That's the one. The one thing. I mean, they're all over the weekend lineup on USA Network. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. but still like, they're all like, well, like, I looked and it's like, uh, USA uh, really doesn't 12, want people to watch their channel. <laughs> 12, 12 rounds three. No, every time I see a WWE film, film, uh, uh, a promo, it's just like, oh, that thing's going to do really well on the weekend on USA network. Um, I, I really like know. 12. Well, that, they're gonna put I mean, the, 12 rounds three, I thought was great. So they're going to put the movies when they do the 1299 network. Is that it? 
Yeah. Is that, wait, I gotta pay three bucks more to watch the Marine Five. Yeah. WWE yeah. Premium. Yeah. Oh, WWE Premium. I don't know how premium that is. I mean, I mean, now granted, if you include No Holds Barred, I'm in. But it's already legal. gonna be on there. So That's gonna be fourteen ninety nine. It's fourteen ninety nine. No, I mean, I own a copy. Don't get me wrong. I own a copy of No Holds Barred. I think on VHS and DVD. If I think about it. Um, and you paid nine ninety nine. And I pay nine ninety nine. <laughs> Coincidentally, and... they haven't marked their prices up in twenty five years. <laughs> <laughs> With those VHSs used to be a lot more than nine ninety nine. That's for sure. You ever? You have, does anybody remember how much? Like, I want to buy the Royal Rumble. Say, mm-hmm. yeah, it was like fifty nine ninety nine. Oh yeah, yeah. I, they the get the only... WrestleManias. Yeah, the anthology collection. The only pay per view I ever bought was WrestleMania twenty, and it was a DVD bundle. So, yeah, I don't remember. That was probably like twenty was. bucks. That was probably like twenty. Probably. Bucks. I mean, but it was it was like a two disc DVD set. Right. Right. Absolutely. I, I have all of them until uh, the network started. Yeah. Yeah. I have the uh, I have all of the them. big gold box with one through twenty one. Twenty one yeah, was the bonus. Too. And it's it's the era where we decided we wanted to blur all the WWF logos and cut it out <laughs> of the. Thanks, guys. Um, so. Thankfully, they've restored most of those for the network. That so. fucking panda. Fucking Fuck that panda. panda. Fucking God panda. God damn trash pandas. All these animals getting in my wrestling. <laughs> yes. Oh, getting in my way. Pandas and owls and <laughs> energy companies. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what the hell? What did you learn in wrestling this week? Well, lots to pick. I mean. Lots to choose from. There's a lot. To, there's a I lot got there. one. Yes. I learned that if you mix Samoa Joe's music with a Kurt Angle promo, it sounds a lot like one of those old private eye detective uh, movies. Like, did you, like, at the end of Raw, <laughs> they had Samoa Joe's music playing in the background with that trombone, and Kurt Angle was talking with t- with Finn Balor setting up next week's show. And it, so- it sounded like... It sounded like an old, like... Uh, like an old Dick Tracy Dick series. Dick Tracy <laughs> series. <laughs> Seri- I'm serious, dude. All right. It was amazing. It kind of reminded me of Lucha, kind of. <laughs> It'd be really funny if they went, next time on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> well, oh, Coach Angle get his man. <laughs> it was, it was yes. amazing. I actually I have to see if they... How the much? One contendership is on quite, the line. Question in the chat. Uh, uh, Dudders asks, how much to get the WWF Divas VHS channel? Oh, that's like the Spice Channel. It is kind of the Spice 99, Channel. 99. Like, drop those in. Man, I mean, you kind of get a lot of those kind of old VHS like releases and stuff on on um, um, Beyond the Mat, kind of. So I, I, I couldn't would not be surprised if they just start dropping like Diva Swimsuit suit VHSs on there, right? Like, I watch want them, that stuff. Watch them read their own stuff. I, I have yes. DVDs for work. I, what? I have those DVDs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, absolutely. Um, there was, uh, the, yeah, it, yeah, it, like right. that all inclusiveness, right? There's more content. There is more content out there for WWE Network to post. That's that's the bottom line. And eventually, they will dig into that kind of stuff. I think, yeah. right? WWE After Dark. <laughs> sure. Twenty four. Sure. After Dark. It's best of Confidential. You know. Yeah, shotgun Saturday night, shotgun whatever. Saturday night. You know, yeah, like there's a lot. I'm of- still waiting for them to put all the Sunday night heats on the network. Yeah, yeah, those will be real interesting. Yep, yep. Because some of those heats are just a fucking shit show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to watch the heats before all the pay per views. Yeah, because those were always the live ones. Those are fun. Uh, Tina Keys. Oh, we didn't even mention this. Learn that uh, we're turning back the clock to the late '90s with the resurgence. Of gold dust. That <laughs> just sounds like 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 through the connection. It just sounds like you're having problems over there. That was, yeah, I'm asthmatic. That's all right. That was a <laughs> that was a rough betrayal. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait 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 wait. Which was worse for you to watch? Our truth and gold dust, oh. or Champa and Johnny Gargano? Oh, Champa pull on the site. Yeah. Champa and Johnny Gargano for sure. That was up there with Goldust, Goldust getting electrocuted. <laughs> ah, the good old days. <laughs> the good old days. Ray wouldn't uh, got his stutter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah. Oh, Goldie got his stutter oh, back coming to but the, the, the end of the when, golden truth. It's when evolution was running, running the show. Oh, man. <laughs> a lot of motorhead. A lot of motorhead. Jeez. It, it was R- Orton and Batista that electrocuted him, right? Or was it just I Batista? Don't, I don't remember. Somebody, I can't remember. Somebody threw him into something zappy. Yeah. yeah. And he yeah. came back. I think it was Orton and Batista. Why do they have so much exposed electricity around those wrestling shows? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. They should, they should well, really ground that stuff. I mean, isn't there like a union thing or something around that? You know? <laughs> Maybe that's why it's so exposed. There isn't a union it thing. Had to be, it had to have been in Philly. No OSHA standards. <laughs> Um, Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Yeah. Sorg, I learned that if a day comes where I get married, I'm going to keep a close eye on everyone in my groomsmen party because I know one of them will turn on me. Genius Food for thought. Mind. Food for thought. Mm. <laughs> wow. I don't know what that meant. I know. Judas heel turn know, on right? Jesus. Tommaso Ciampa was in the wedding party for Johnny Gargano. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. It, it, it's 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 a deep cut reference. It's okay. It's, they it's they only awesome. mention it. They they literally only mention it every single DIY package in every single DIY match. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Easy to miss. Okay. Easy to miss. It's okay. Who, who didn't okay. go over there? I didn't go. You didn't go. Right. Right. I learned that David Otunga was filming a movie. <laughs> No, I didn't learn that. <laughs> Swerve. Uh, Swerve. I'll, I'll do two things. One of them's a little a little distracted from the whole weekend, and, and one is just an observation. Uh, the first one, I'll do the observation. Pete Dunn kind of looks like a woman. <laughs> Friend of the uh, show, Pete Dunn, you're talking uh, about there? He had an amazing match. Very ugly. Uh, he's going to do a great, he'll be a great champion. But like when he comes out, his cheekbones are high, and with that hair to one side, he kind of looks like a woman. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the lighting, you just if it's that it mouth guard. I, I just don't know what makes the whole thing. He kind of looks like a woman. Not, I mean, that's just what I see. It's not a not a thing on him because I thought his match was great. He's 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 got a future here. But uh, that's my observation. Oh, that would have been good. Tina saying, I was expecting Candice to turn up while Tommaso was, Trump, was uh, attacking Johnny. I think wait for it. Mm. Wait um, for it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I could. Although I don't know if I, I, I don't know if after TNA, I want to see another husband wife team up on wrestling. <laughs> yeah, but that was TNA. How many things have you seen in NXT that have been just super? Eric Young. This, great this match. This is true. Wait, yeah. I care about Eric Young and Roderick Strong. What? Yeah. By the way, I kind of care about Roderick that. Strong. I kind of care. This is I dude. This care. this Roderick Strong thing is working. Yeah, absolutely working. They're getting they're getting me to slowly turn around. I yeah. and I yeah. was very anti. Roderick I, don't Strong. you feel like? Don't you feel like they just told Roderick Strong it's like, hey, you're going to do some stuff. Don't be awesome for a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, like like, like kind of like just go through the motions. We're going to do this me. thing. You know, oh, you know, you're gonna, you know, be, become a father. Don't worry, we'll do some stuff around that. But in the meantime, did just, they plan his pregnancy? His just, wife's pregnancy? Just, is that what I you're mean, saying? You know, playing around it, you know, he's <laughs> really good about booking around things and everything like that. All right, uh, about Brandon, six months. <laughs> Brandon learned that even though these wrestlers are sometimes enemies inside the ring, that they are actual friends outside of the show. Just look at Rollins and Balor. Uh, went through a lot during each during we have that twenty four seven. Uh, uh, Finn Bell. It might have been just because I was sick. But I cried during that. Um, oh no, no, that was that it, was. It, it was just not because that I was in a, a, a horrible physical and mental state last week when I watched. I mean, that, that thing. might that might have had something to do with it because I'm sure you felt the pains of their rehab I mean, because you were dying a little but, bit, a little bit. Yeah, I did feel yeah. like I was dying a little it's bit. It's like um, don't I'm drink the water. <laughs> just, yeah, I'm not going to drink the water in Kansas. That's what I learned, and uh, <laughs> that's what I learned from life last week. Um, uh, Tina says, "Well, there there is the May Young Classic. Uh, she should be part of uh, the takeover. Brooklyn is around that time. Well, uh, she was uh, she was in an NXT match. Yeah, yeah, she did a. Uh, uh, she was in the Battle Royal. That's for, right. Um, that's right. Um, there's a lot to look out for. There's a lot of great indie girls that that are popping up there. I learned. I learned. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sometimes you don't know what the card is. Sometimes you get really surprised by when by by a match. Like um, I had no idea 
that I was going to see Friday night at the Dropkick Drug Addiction show uh, put on uh, the PWX Rise guys. First of all, run in by uh, brother of Kurt Angle, uh, Eric Angle, uh, taking out friend of the show, Jer- Jimmy De- Jimmy Vegas. Um, also, um, the Rev did awesome things, as he usually does. There's a video going around on our Twitter for Mayhem Show and uh, and, and, and the group for, for, for that entrance. And uh, I I saw a match that was like the oh shit you know I there's some people that have on the I got a C list and um, um, Taylor Hendricks is my kind of my my girl as far as indie wrestling goes um, redhead doing the poison ivy gimmick it's kind of like awesome and uh, she had a match with a uh, fight pro wrestling out of maryland i think it is who does a very interesting no disqualification no count outs generally no rope breaks for for uh submissions uh just submission or pin uh who also had brought in ricky reyes uh cortez from from lucha underground for a match uh so so taylor hendricks who i've seen multiple times especially around ring of honor shows took on sue fucking young um go look up sue young s-u-y-u-n-g um, you'll find a lot of pictures of her doing modely stuff, and then you'll see something else. Just imagine if you, um, we were talking about, uh, horror movies before the show, Chad. Uh, imagine every Japanese horror movie as a wrestler. <laughs> I believe they call her the Blood Bride. Um, and it was pretty good. I wish the crowd was more into it. I don't think the crowd knew what they were seeing. Or expected it, mm. and I didn't see much really in advance um, of it. Or, or I even went back to the Facebook page, and I'm like, "Did they even announce this?" And there was a text announcement, and that was it. Uh, so that was exciting. Uh, they're going to do DVDs for this, so uh, I, I definitely encourage you to do that. It, it's for a good cause um, for Dropkick Drug Edition uh, happened out in the uh, Hempel, PA area, of course. So that's what I learned. Oh, shit. I love. I love yeah. surpri- I love indie surprises and I like that we still get them. What's going on over there? He showed me uh, the transformation the of pictures, Sue Young. Yeah. The Sue Young? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. So. I know, right? I know, right? You're like you look her yeah. up and like the first like two rows of pictures are like, hey, this this, this seems not so bad. Yeah. And then Bam. all of a sudden it's like oh <laughs> the grudge. Oh, somebody yeah, the yeah, the grudge. It's like, oh, somebody went through a face. Yeah. Um so <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like Rosemary in TNA. It is, though. It is, and it, it, it's very comparable, right? Um, but I, I, I kind of like her her uh, perception a little bit better there. Uh, good match, Tina saying. Good match with Sue Young. Sue Young versus Lufisto at Shine Wrestling Event during WrestleMania weekend. So go look that up. Uh, I don't know if people know that friend of the show, John Thorne, that was on a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, he doesn't do podcasts, and he and and, and he did our Indie Mayhem show, and we I really appreciate that. Uh, he had a match with Lufisto uh, last month. Because I think there might have been a no-show or something for Lufisto's opponent, who I believe was going to be a female. So John Thorne laced up the boots for the first time in several years and fought Lufisto. <laughs> 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 there's pictures going around. It ended up on like indie wrestling crap or whatever because there's a big like there's a big like ad behind him for a local I don't know junk disposal place or something, and just both of them punching at each other in the stands. It's it's, it's fantastic. I fucking love indie wrestling. Cool. Uh, but anyways, uh, I I think that's the, I think everybody went. Everybody learned things. Everybody mayhemed. Two. You got a part two. Yeah, my second thing I learned. You you said you were going to say a part two. I learned this is this is off, but. I learned that I believe that Bray Wyatt needs a valet. Cause I, I, Sir Abigail. I, I, I just he doesn't need any any of the family members anymore. Ember Moon. What he needs is a valet, somebody that that he can't tag with, but somebody he can work off of. He with needs a own, with his own craziness because he's getting a little too deep with him with himself. This, he started slipping oh mans into his promos. Uh, he just needs a valet. He needs a valet. He needs a mouthpiece. Not particularly a, a straight mouthpiece, but yes, along those lines. Just somebody to talk a little bit so he doesn't go off and psycho babble for a little while. Because <laughs> as I was watching his promo on Raw, I'm like, man, it would be great if he just had. Somebody who wasn't a threatening family member in the ring with him. Yeah. 
like a valet. Are we talking like a girl or? Yeah. Or, uh, it's, yeah. So, it's like what? He's a female valet. Like, do you see somebody on the current NXT or WWE roster that would I, be I a do not. fit for it? Like, what what kind of character could you? I don't. He just needs somebody. He needs somebody to bounce off of. I think it'd be great for his character mm-hmm. because all he's ever had was these brutish family members, Beardy people. Yeah. I think you could have a have a very interesting wide angle Oscar. with a female. Just give, a, Oscar. Just give him a... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a combo? <laughs> they couldn't understand each other at all. <laughs> no, no. They can understand each other perfectly. They just can't oh, speak man. each other's languages. Mm. That'd be great. They just talk. They know. It's, it's like um, uh, Ocean's Eleven with the little Asian dude. He's always talking in like Chinese. And everybody can understand what he's saying, but none of them speak yeah. Chinese. Huh. <laughs> Maybe uh, what's her name? That's insanity. Nikki Cross. Yeah, that would be great. Like yeah, that. But, that's the type of that's the type of girl. In. I think he could he could play off of very well. Two things. They could but, feed but off. But of here, each other here's the well. thing. If you're gonna give Bray Wyatt a female valet, and it's not Sister Abigail, what the fuck are we even doing? That's true. Mm. Well, I mean, that yes, would that, that would, would, that that would, would be like Kane coming in. Yeah, ha- yeah, having a sister Abigail character come would be like having. A it's Kane. almost like a, a female valet would be a Paul Bearer to, to Bray Wyatt. So okay, two thoughts. One, I love the idea of of just Braun Strowman and Oscar just you know speaking the language of love, and that plays <laughs> out. Um, <laughs> Hey, heard about your elbow, and, big boy. <laughs> I just pictured Tyler Breeze dressed as Sister Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, scene. and Bray just beats the shit out of him. And scene. <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. That was, that was undercover. I was in too deep. I was in too deep. Just like, let's just give, let's give, you know, the other thing. Let's just, oh, well, he's dying over there. Let's just give, um, let's just give him, you know, Summer Ray or Eva Marie. Because... Well, even even Marie's gone. Yeah. Yeah, okay, officially, that's yeah, true. <laughs> but I mean, you know, in a perfect world. So. Does, can anybody come back that's left? Sure. That's available. Why not? Drew Drew Galloway did. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. Is there any? Is there any? Jinder, Jinder Mahal did. Any Any of the females went to like Lita? Mm, Daphne. No. Keep Lita away. Daphne. From yeah, it would have to be like a Daphne or a Rosemary. Daphne. Like I could see that. You Kill know. Kim. Oh, I, Kill I, Kim. I, I, oh, ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, crazy Mary Dobson, whatever they're calling her now. That could work too. Could or work. you could do Katie Katie Lee Birchall. Nope, nope, <laughs> no. Why not? Like, who's the, who's I'm the Katie that Lee Birchall in What's Lucha that? Underground. I'm sorry. Who's the lady that licks people's faces in Lucha Underground? Oh, Eva Lee Katri- or uh, Katrina? Katrina? Yeah, Katrina, uh, who completely was in NXT back in the day. Was she? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she was Maxine. Go look. You have the network. Go I look do. up that. I spend nine ninety nine. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> they have that first, like, like the first early ish season of NXT. Um, just look up anything with Derek Bateman, who's just, Ethan, Ethan just, Carter. Just uh, Google hashtag Betamax. It, there, there's that too. Uh, you actually, you could probably just find a best of on YouTube for that. Uh, but Ethan Carter. I'm sorry, D- Derek Bateman, um, Johnny Curtis, who's now Fandango. And Maxine, who is now Katrina in Lucha Underground, um, the most interesting love triangle weirdness thing. Like, if you see the Johnny Curtis stuff, the Fashion Police now will make sense. Okay. Is is mm-hmm. kind of the context for that. And so does Chet Cheddarson. This was, the, yes, that too. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that too. Uh, this is the thing that I think Eamon was obsessed with back in the day. Mm-hmm. Because yep. it was like the best thing on WWE television at the time, and it was on NXT, which wasn't even shown anywhere outside of Florida. Yes, yeah. like it was on like local Florida cable, that, like, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, you could it was you, like closed circuit Florida television. <laughs> it was closed circuit. Look, it was on like Bright House cable, yeah. and that was it. Southern Florida PBS. <laughs> yeah, exactly, something like that. All right, guys. On that note. I learned that there is a sex champion, says Wheels. Oh, I saw a picture of this, and I haven't edited RWA yet, but apparently there is a sex champion that came out this Saturday night in West Two. We didn't talk about Wait, it. the sex champion came out? 
Hey, on that note. <laughs> hey, do you really want to go with whatever you're going nope. with? Nope. nope. All right, guys, Let's it's been a lot there. of fun. Right. Thank you. We should probably say who we have on next week. Yes, who do we have on, Mike? Um, we uh, Because Lucha Underground is coming back since we were just talking about Katrina, next week we will have um, executive producer Eric Van Wagnon from Lucha Underground. And uh, he also pre- he also did some work on Legends House and the original Tough Enough with Steve Austin. So, uh, yeah, uh, he has some fun stories, and I hope we get to hear some of them next week. But, awesome. yeah, he'll be on. We poke at him for questions for that. I think I think the statute of limitations is out on those ones, right? So, so uh, looking forward to that. Uh, last couple things, real quick. Brandon, Brandon's asking, did Aiden English's pants make you want to scream? Uh, I, uh, and also Sarah. It's starry night. Sarah Bridges. <laughs> wait, that was, he did a starry night? Yeah, he had Starry Night as That well. is, I just edited Clearfield uh, Clearfield Carnage 2, and there's a character named Plato Miramac, and he wears Starry Night as his tights too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stealing from the Indies again. Uh, Crazy Mary Dobson is now known as Sarah Bridges, uh, if you're, you're curious about that. The one with the white cutoffs, I believe. In the, in the, yes. So, Guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show. He's Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. That I am. He's Mutilator Larry of the Mutilator Variety. Yes. Here in Pittsburgh. He's Chad Shad yeah. pointing at you yes, uh, in your homes and in your hearts. In your ear holes. That's a picture of RJ City because he lives on with the show. Well, he didn't die. But I'm just saying he's a part. He's <laughs> he just, lives on. Oh, he's, bless his soul. <laughs> R.I.P. RJ Bless City. his soul. He's not dead, but he is Canadian. So maybe a part of him has died inside. Who knows? Bad Mike. Uh, no, I already said his. He I'm Sorg. Mayhem. Chat room. Thank you. Next week, Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.